People think that lightning doesn't strike twice at the same spot. But the real question is, are aircraft lightning proof? Well, why not just ask an engineer? The short answer is yes, aircraft are protected against lightning. But this is a very interesting question, as lightning strikes are more common than we might think. On average, almost each aircraft in service today will experience at least one lightning strike every year. But aircraft are designed to safely sustain such hits. Actually, the last crash that was attributed to lightning strikes dates back to the 1960s. Since then, new measures, new rules, and new technologies have been developed to address this potential danger. But what happens when lightning strikes? Initially, the lightning will attach itself to an extremity of the aircraft, such as the nose or the wingtips. Then the aircraft will fly through the lightning bolt, which will reattach itself at various locations along the fuselage, while the aircraft remains in the electric circuit that's created between the clouds of varying polarity. The electric current will flow through the exterior skin of the aircraft and its structure, and will exit at another extremity, such as the tail. Even though passengers and crew might see a flash of light and hear a loud noise, nothing serious will happen because of the careful lightning protection engineered into the aircraft and its sensitive components. Most aircraft skins today are made primarily of aluminum, which conducts electricity very well. This will ensure that the electric current stays on the exterior of the aircraft. The thickness of the metal surface will protect the inner volume of the aircraft. Finally, the skin will also ensure that no electromagnetic energy enters the wiring of the airplane. For aircraft made out of composite, a mesh of conductive material is constructed inside the skin to ensure that the current will flow. Today's aircraft have kilometers of wires and plenty of computers and instruments. Some of those computers and instruments could be susceptible to power surges, so they also need to be protected against lightning. Aircraft designers will integrate shielding, grounding, and surge suppressors in their designs to protect those critical components. Manufacturers also have to verify that the aircraft components are protected against lightning in accordance to the latest rules. Another area that gathers a lot of attention is the fuel system. The joints and the structures surrounding the fuel tanks have to be thick enough to prevent any burn through. Fasteners and joints of those tanks also need to be designed and assembled to prevent any spark. Caps and vents are also protected against lightning, and so are fuel pipes and engines. As mentioned earlier, lightning often strikes the nose of the aircraft, which is also where the radar is located. Unfortunately, the radar cannot be installed in a conductive enclosure, which creates an issue with lightning. So this is why we install lightning diverter strips on the radome of the aircraft. So as you can see, aircraft are designed to function in lightning. And this is why we have such great safety records for the last few decades. So next time you sit in an aircraft and there's lightning surrounding you, rest assured that you're safe. And the only thing you're, you will get is an extraordinary and spectacular light show and maybe a few goosebumps. Visit our channel for more answers and to submit your own questions. The most interesting ones will be showcased in future episodes and you may be selected to be the one presenting your explanations when people ask an engineer.